Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, Wild West Toys. We appreciate you coming by to see us. Get ready for a fantastic episode of The Adventures of Kit Carson, starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond. And remember, it's brought to you free by Wild West Toys, and you can shop with Wild West Toys at www.toyguntown.com. And we have hundreds of Western television shows and movies at westernsontheweb.com. Come on by and see us, www.westernsontheweb.com. Thanks again. We'll see you after the show. United States Marshal in that territory yet, because it never has been legally incorporated by Congress. It makes it tough on the inhabitants. Caracoles, it certainly does. With all those shootings and holdups, a man cannot sleep safe in his bed. That's true. But a group of citizens up around this particular area have tried to form a little committee. It hasn't proved very effective as yet. Kit, this job calls for a professional. <laughs> the country is rugged. You've scouted it long enough for the Army. You know it well. How about it, kid? What do you think, Tara? As you like. We'll be happy to ride out and have a look at it, sir. Good. I'll send for the reports on all the crimes that have been committed there. That'll give you something to work on. Now, most of the trouble seems to be centered right around in here. Strangers come into town. You better take another look, Piney. They ain't strangers. One of them's Kit Carson. He's been in this territory before. You reckon he likes it well enough to come back? Maybe he was sent. He generally is. But why Indian Wells? We ain't touched that town. We'll find out. I cannot understand why you picked the only town where there have been no holdups or murders. Por qué? Maybe it's the best place to take a rest. We came here for a rest? Pues te si compadre, si, I understand what you mean. Señorita, do you have a room? You'll have to see my aunt about that. Doesn't take you long, does it? Here it is. The only room I have left. Who will take it, senora? I expect my guests to act properly at all times. Yes, ma'am. And the rent's always payable a week in advance. Of course. Exactly right. The bath down the hall, and I'll send you some towels. Oh, gracias, senora. I'm certain we'll be most comfortable here. If we came for a rest, amigo mio, this is a good start. Yes, as long as you stay away from Mrs. Pritchett's niece. Kit, how can you say such things to me? You know, well, it's only that I like old people. Oh, come in, senorita. A nice well, don't you? Here are your towels. Oh, mil gracias, senorita. Remember what I said. See, it's only that she's got what you call sparkly eyes. Let's wash up. Hang on, her. I just heard from Piney that Kid Carson's rode into town with his sidekick. I know. He's staying at my hotel. 
That's just great. Right where they can be in the way. Right where I can watch him, you mean? What's Piney so excited about? Nothing's going to happen in Indian Wells. Not until that safe's full. Well, it won't be long before it is full. After another job or two. Funny how they all come running here with their money after they hear of holdups in the territory. Well, that's the idea, isn't it? Now, you tell Piney not to worry about Carson. Just to go about his business. Okay. But you know Carson. Likes to interfere in other people's business. Especially when it's against the law. I know. That's why the sooner we lose him, the better. That's up to you and your playmates. Carambo, what sort of game is that? You wanted to know why we came to Indian Wells. Compadre, I'm no longer curious. The senorita is reason enough. Now pay attention, Romeo. This gun is Indian Wells. And these bullets are the places where the robberies and the holdups took place. You'll notice almost in a complete circle. For well, that, it looks like the bandits are avoiding Indian Wells. Yes, the question is why. Why are they avoiding Indian Wells? Perhaps there's no bank here. Perhaps they're afraid of something. I think you're wrong both times, Toro, because this is a wealthy little cattle town. There may not be a bank here, but there's a Wells Fargo office. And you notice that land office as we rode into town. See, there is money here. You're right, Kit. Yes. That's what puzzles me. Either the gang is planning on sticking up this town next, or... Or what? Or they're hiding out here. Maybe so. Come on, let's get something to eat. Tony Mart. I wonder what he wants. Oh, he's a great warrior. Carson's in town, all right. But guess where? In Aggie Pritchard's hotel. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, if I was Carson, I sure wouldn't drink any Aggie's tea. Maybe he don't drink tea. Yeah, maybe she can shoot straight, too. Don't be a chump. Aggie wouldn't shoot Carson right in her own hotel. No, Aggie's far too smart for that. <laughs> That's what she pays you for. Is that what you came here to tell us? Yeah. You think Carson and his pal might uh, ride up in the hills someday? Maybe after the next Wells Fargo shipment. Wake up, Romeo. How could you do this to me? I was just dreaming. M may I come in? Mrs. Pritchett, please do. Don't pay any attention to Toro. That's his natural state. I brought you gentlemen some tea. There's nothing like tea to refresh you, I always say. It's very kind of you. It's cost you. you a lot of money to bring tea into this part of the now, country. Now, Mr. Carson, it's my pleasure. I took the liberty of bringing along a cup for myself. Oh, that, Signore, is a compliment. Do you gentlemen take cream or sugar? Oh, I'm afraid that'll spoil us. We'll take it plain. Ah. Mr. Carson, I know you're a government agent, and I, I'd like to ask your advice. Glad to help if I can. There have been a great many robberies around here lately. I suppose you know that. Yes, yes. Well, I'm shipping a great deal of money to the bank in Silver Creek this afternoon by Wells Fargo. It's my life savings, and I'd hate to lose it. When is the stage leaving? In about 15 minutes. We'll see that it gets through safely. Thank you very much, Mr. Carson. I'll pick up the cups later.
Toss your gun. There's some people that don't care for tea, but I always say, give me a hot cup of tea every time. I often say the same, senora. More tea, gentlemen? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, gracias. Very kind of you to invite us, Mrs. Pritchett. The pleasure is mine, Mr. Carson, seeing as you're both heroes. Yes, saving the Wells Fargo strong box and bringing back the stage. Heard anything about the driver? He's going to be all right. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have an errand to do. Oh, but of course, senora. By the way, Mr. Carson, how long do you plan on staying on here? Oh, as soon as we've cleaned up some unfinished business, we'll be on our way. Unfinished business? That's right. We're not in your way, are we? Oh, no. I just wanted to know how long I could count on the room being rented. Well, I can't say as yet. Come on, Toro. What is this about the strong box? It smells like a trap, Toro. Mrs. Pritchett asked us to protect her life savings. Yet over at the Wells Fargo office, they said she never made any such shipment. Jeez, Parson. She's the relative of such a beautiful muchacha. Why would she do such a thing? I think it was an ambush to get rid of us. Make it look like a routine holdup. It did seem like there were a lot of them. Yeah, maybe that explains why she was so anxious to know when we were leaving. Still don't get the connections, but maybe somebody does. Yeah, we've got a job to do, Toro. Let's get out to the scene of the holder. Maybe we can pick up a clue or two. That's an idea. A good one, too. Sign there, Mr. Lewis. You know my rates. They're keeping your money safe in my vault, the charge is 10%. 10%? Well, that's highway robbery. Most banking establishments pay the depositor instead of the other way around. Gentlemen, I'm not in the banking business. I've got the safest vault west of St. Louis. It cost me a fortune to have that freighted here. It's safe and sound. Now, if you don't like my rates, take your money elsewhere. Oh, you know we can't do that, Mr. Gibbons. It's too risky. There's too many holdups and robberies going on. Well, that's just why you pay me 10%. Next, please. Yeah, this is where they were, all right. See, 
this is where I tried to spring the trap. You can forget about the stagecoach. I knew there wasn't any money on it. But I sure hope she didn't put any poison in that tea. Chihuahua, now that you mention it, I'm beginning to feel funny. A fine mess you made of that ambush. Carson and his partner got clean away. No, Agatha, there's no use crying over spilled milk. I learned from the Wells Fargo dispatcher that Carson was trying to find out if there was any money on that stage. Did he find out? Indeed he did. Why don't you tell him you decided not to send the money after all? Oh. Hello there. Hello. Nice day for a ride. My aunt asked me to meet her outside the land office. Oh, she did, huh? Well, there isn't anyone there, according to the sign, anyway. I'd better wait. Why don't we take the money out of that safe and clear out of here, all of us? That shows how much sense you've got. Why should we all clear out? It would point the finger right at us. Besides, I've got my hotel. Mott has his business here. No, we've got to make this look like the real thing. Another holdup. Well, what are we waiting for? I suppose you and your men will bungle this job, too. It's as easy as licking honey off a spoon. No, Aggie, we didn't figure Carson to pull any of his tricks. It's up to you to see that he doesn't pull any more tricks, ever. He knows too much about us now. He can't leave this territory alive. Don't worry. He won't. How long has your aunt lived here, Janet? I don't know. She's not really my aunt, but I've worked for her so long I call her that. Oh, Aunt Agatha, I thought that Martin and I had some business to talk about. We didn't want to be disturbed. Mind helping me in? Oh, I'm sorry.
Get into this mess. I can't understand you. I said the fox was out foxed. And from the sound of the words, they're on the way to get some money right now. Well, come on, fox. that door and come and shoot him. Like fire crickets. Do you think you'd better tie me up first to make this thing look good? I got a better idea. Cross me, would you? I suppose you did that for me. Well, sure, you don't think I'm on the wrong side of the law, do you? Why, you... <laughs> well, let the sheriff settle this, as soon as we pick up Agatha Pritchett. It's still hard for me to believe all those things about Agatha. But now that I look back, it explains a lot of things I never understood. That's why she got away with it for so long. She'd be the last one in the world you'd suspect. But you won't have to worry about this hotel for a long time. What a pity. I remember once there were two beautiful sisters in San Jose. Not now, Toro. Anyway, they sure fooled me. Yes, I remember. We'll be on our way, Janet. Well, thanks to you two, a lot more damage was prevented. Senorita, if you need a janitor for the hotel, I can wash dishes, I can split wood, I can make the best frijoles that you ever tasted in your whole life. enjoyed this episode of The Adventures of Kit Carson starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond and remember if you need some American made toys some die cast metal cap pistols for your little buckaroos that run around come on by toyguntown.com and if you're looking to watch tons of Western movies and television shows for free online come by and see us at westernsontheweb.com Thanks again. I'm Bob Terry, and we hope to see you again on down the trail. Have a great day. <laughs>